Holy motherfucking tits. Obito just went man mode in this chapter. I mean, damn. Not that much happened, but at the same time, a lot happened. I mean, this chapter was about as amazing as having an Asian gymnastics girl in bed. So, in other words, this chapter was fucking amazing. <laughs> Fuck, so let's just jump into the awesomeness of this chapter. Obito has become the sage of the six paths, more or less. And there are a few things to be noted about this. Um, number one, prior to taking control, Obito looked quite snake-like. And after his transformation, he um, looked very... Like, I can't help but feel that he looked very similar to Kabuto. Or rather, Kabuto looked very similar to Obito's new form. I mean, didn't Kabuto say he was the closest living thing to being the Sage of Six Paths at the time he was, like, you know, a threat? Which, that's very curious to me, because, you know, I mean, I'm a little sad over it, to be honest, because I semi-liked, actually, I really liked the um, semi science experimentation to basically become a god, you know, that sort of stuff that was going on. Uh, Kabuto and Orochimaru were doing that. And I really hope Orochimaru brings that back in Naruto. Uh, second thing to note about it, um, it looks really similar to Naruto's transformation. And it's hard to say, like, what the reason is. I mean, could it be the fact that the QB is very close in terms of chakra to the Jubi? Or that the QB is like, still has the memories of the Jubi? Or that Naruto himself is special? Or Naruto is like a ancestor of the Sage of Six Paths? Well, we already know that, but a, a strong blood relation, if you know what I mean? I mean, is it hereditary? I don't know. Um, all I fucking know is that Obito looks awesome as Toast. And don't get me wrong, Toast is awesome. If you don't think so, well, fuck you. Toast is awesome. Anyway, I do find it slow, slightly disturbing the fact that his cloak, Obito's cloak, is made of, well, skin. I mean, that's kind of messed up, isn't it? And it seems like the eight and nine tails being not within the Juby has definitely had an effect on Obito because he seems incomplete. Namely, one of his horns, but still, very badass. I especially liked the six orbed halos he has. It's very, it's definitely my favourite feature of him, and it's very comparable to um, Naruto when he's in his chakra mode. Well, not, was it his chakra mode? Or his QB mode? No, in his chakra mode. Um, I wish they brought that back, because it only happened briefly when Naruto first gained control of the QB's chakra. And, you know, I, that was awesome. Um, I do have to question why there were not ten orbs and only six. But hey. Also, Obito's staff is actually made of the same black chakra that can disintegrate anything. <laughs> and, you know, I can't help but wonder if we're going to see Obito just end up killing himself on his own staff. Sort of like the um, Raikage death. I mean, that'd be pretty funny, to be honest. That'd be a good way for him to go out. Anyway, that's all I have to say on Obito's transformation, so let's get on to the chapter itself. So overall, it was very good, very action-y. Minato saves the day, of course, but that doesn't matter since, you know, they're back into mortal peril by the end of the chapter. Frickin' noobs. And of course, Obito, even now, is thinking of Rin. I mean, fuck dude, I get it, you loved her. It, it was your first love, you know, first loves are always the hardest to get over. I can get that, I can relate. I can really fucking relate. In fact, probably half the people that are watching this could relate to you. Sometimes loves can really hurt, but fuck. That is not anywhere near an excuse to hurt people. And, and as your potential last words to be about Rin, it's pretty pathetic. I mean, Obito's life must have been pretty damned empty. And it's not like I can feel sad for him about it either. I mean, it's kind of his fault in, in a sense. But aside from the Rin parts, we get to see um, this fairly gory segment happen with Nobito's mind. And it's basically him imagining all the important people in his life, bar his parents, because no one in Naruto has parents. <laughs> no one. And every time uh, he forgets one of those major people, a uh, um, major limb gets removed from his body, which is symbolic of the Jubi taking over 
Obito, and it looks really badass. He basically gets to a point where, like, you know, his legs have been come off, his arms have come off, and he's just... He's like a potato. He's just a torso and a head. And, and he's, his head starts to get ripped in half as he's imagining Rin, and the image is, like, getting ripped. And, you know, well, we're back to the annoying Rin. I mean, fuck. But that memory of Rin brings all the other memories of the important people back together and that memory stitches him kind of back together gaining him control over the Juby itself which brings us to what I was talking about before Obito the second sage of the six paths which soon ends our chapter pretty much I mean that was the big wha-bam uh, but Basically, after Obito's transformation, he makes it very clear that he's the um, he's the one in control right now. He's not lost control of his body, and he goes on to attack Minato. And from that, Minato teleports to Naruto and Sasuke. But he has um, Obito has one of his black orbs kind of attached to Minato. It's going to explode and freaking kill them all. And, you know, I wonder about this orb, if it did, was actually just attached to Minato, or um, Obito himself had it teleported there. Because, um, you know, not teleported, but get there really fast. Because, I mean, if he can make it travel without being connected to another black orb, or that black liquid itself... That would mean that I was potentially right on saying Obito could get them to a plasma form, which would also mean that Obito has managed to combine all five elements as opposed to just four. But, you know, that's just a theory I had before, and maybe it's happened, maybe it hasn't, maybe he's just gotten a little more skilled with them. I don't know. It could have just been attached. But anyway, that's me for tonight. I'm pretty tired. You can probably hear it in my voice. But I did a chapter on time, motherfucker. It finally happened. So, hope you enjoyed the chapter and have a great week. Sorry for the last few reviews being very late and rushed and I was sick and all this. I've had a lot of shit on my plate to deal with lately and it's kind of been annoying. And I still haven't forgotten about that video I planned for you guys. I mean, it's not something too impressive, but it's something very important to me. And I still plan on doing it, and when it gets released, I'll probably put it in all my descriptions, so there's just always, you know, in every video you watch of mine, it's always going to be in the description, because I want people to check it out. It's important to me. And I still also haven't forgotten about that game giveaway. That'll be happening soon. I have, I think, $150, which I'll spend on giving games to subscribers, or just commenters, to be honest, and, um... I'm not sure how that's going to work, if it's just going to be three $50 games, or five $50 games, and one, one I mean five $10 games, and one $100 game. I don't know how it work out, but altogether, I'm just 150 bucks. You guys get free shit, it's awesome. Uh, but that's all for me for now, and um, yeah, as I said before, have a great week, and a peace!